method of solve, method solves on question on inclined surface angle of repose. Okay, so the first question is like that. Example. It is saying that what is the force P required to keep the body in equilibrium when it is at the point of sliding down. We have given a picture. Like this. This is alpha. And a P force is given like this. Okay. Anything else? The mass of the body is M. Mass of the body is M. Okay. Let's see if any other value is required. We'll see. So, this from this figure, what we can say? He has asked, what is the value of P? This body is just about to slide. So, if this body is just about to slide, then what is the force P that is required to keep the body in equilibrium? That is, P will not give any movement in upward direction and not in the down downward direction. Because of which force it will be coming downward? That is, mg psi theta, in the own component, a component of its weight will be acting in this direction and one in this direction. Okay. So, this component will be trying to move this body downward. The frictional force will be generated in this direction and P also is in this direction. He has asked what is the value of the P. So, see, first of all, his own weight will be acting like this, mg. Okay. After that, a component of this mg will be acting like this, this alpha, mg cos alpha will be acting like this. Okay. Another component will be acting like this, mg sin alpha. Okay, so this is the case. Now, if it is sliding in this direction, then in which direction the frictional force will be generated? That is the most important thing. Frictional force will be generated in this direction or in this direction. Now, in the question, he has said that the frictional, the body is trying to slip in this direction. Okay, so frictional force will try to resist the movement of the body. So frictional force will be acting in the opposite direction, in the opposite direction because the body is moving downward, frictional force will be acting upward in this direction. So now what we can say that mg sin theta and this is f, what is the value of f? f is equal to mu times n. What is the n? n is this normal normal reaction. So, F is equal to mu times mg cos theta or cos alpha. This is the value. Okay. So, in this direction, mg sin alpha is acting like this. In this direction, two forces. P plus mu times mg cos alpha is acting. Okay. So what is the value? P is equal to mg times sin alpha minus mu times mg cos alpha. This is the value. Okay. What is mu? Mu is our, we have already found that tan theta is equal to mu. Okay, in this case, because this is the limiting value, in limiting case, tan theta or tan theta r comes and that is equal to mu. So, we can write P is equal to mg sin alpha 
If you don't understand this, just see the previous video. In that, which, uh, I have explained how the tan theta r is equal to mu. That is, in case of angle of repose. So this is minus tan theta r is or tan theta that is sine theta by cos theta into mg times cos alpha. So that is equal to P equal to mg in common sine alpha cos theta minus sine theta cos alpha divided by cos theta. So P is equal to mg times sine a cos b minus cos a sine b that is sine alpha sine a minus b that is sine alpha minus theta divided by cos theta. So this is the value of A. So this is the value of A. Okay. It is clear. One another question can be asked in this manner. It can be asked like this. If the, what is the value of P? If the body is just trying to move upward, what will be the value of P if the body is just about to move upward? That can be another question. Okay. In this case, in the next case, if I do it, what will be the change? If I do it, if the body under this force, the body is just about to move upward. Then he has asked, what is the value of P for which the body is in the verge of moving upward. It means it is about to move, not moving. Okay. In this case, only difference will be the frictional resistance. The frictional resistance will try to oppose the relative motion try to oppose the relative motion. It means frictional resistance will now act in this way. In this direction. F is acting. Because the body is moving upward, frictional resistance is in the opposite direction. Okay. So, what is the frictional resistance? Frictional resistance is F is equal to mu times mg cos alpha. Okay. In this case, only difference is mg sin alpha plus f should be equal to p. In this direction only p is there, in this direction two forces. So mg sin alpha plus mu times mg cos alpha is equal to p. Again you can solve this mg is equal to mg sin alpha plus mu is sin directly I am writing sin theta by cos theta into mg cos alpha equal to p. Okay. So mg common cos alpha cos theta sin alpha cos theta plus sin theta cos alpha that should be equal to P. So P is how much? P is mg sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. That is sin a minus b. Sin, sin a cos b. That is alpha minus theta. Divided by cos theta. Okay. So try to understand. This is the only difference. Sin A cos B cos A. See, I am not sure about this formula. Okay, please check it. Actually, I am in a little bit of doubt. Or else, what you can do? You can just write up to this much. Just put the formula, just put the value. A on B theta and C is something, alpha is something. You will get this value again. No problem. Okay. So this is the second question.
Next, let us solve one more question. Here, sir, mu s that is mu static means the coefficient of friction static is 0 0.75. Okay. Find the body is in rest of motion. Find the body is in rest of motion. Think in is not clear. Okay. Find the body is in rest of motion. So First one is this one, second one is what is the frictional force? Frictional force. What is the acceleration? This is the question he has asked. He has given a figure like this. Mass is m. Okay. So now we can. He has given this angle as 53 degrees. Okay. Mu is 0 0.75. Okay. So first one is if the body is in rest or motion, what how can we find that from our mu s? Okay. See our angle of repose tan theta r is equal to the mu equal to the mu. Okay. So if this value is less than if the theta r, that means the maximum angle after which the body will start to sleep. If this value is more than that angle, then it will start to sleep. That means the body will be in motion or else the body will be in under stable equilibrium. So theta r, tan theta r is mu. So tan theta r is equal to your 0.75 so theta r is equal to tan inverse 0.75 I'm getting this value as 37 degree 37 degree so this is the maximum angle after which the body will start to sleep in this direction say in this case angle is 53 degree so 53 degree is greater than 37 degree so the body is in motion first of all the body is in motion what will be the frictional force generated the body is in motion so see mg is acting like this here mg this is 53 degree angle mg cos 53 degree okay here mg sine 53 degree the normal reaction is in frictional force is in this direction because the body is sliding downwards the body is sliding downwards the normal reaction is in this direction so uh, sorry the frictional resistance is in this direction so this is the f now what you can write what is F? F is equal to, this is the first one, A part, this is the B part. The fri friction resistance F is equal to mu times mg cos 53 degree. He has given some value of mu. Uh -huh, mu is 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.75. So frictional resistance is equal to 0 0.75 into m is mass is how much photo mass he has not given so mg into cos 53 degree 
whatever you are getting, that is the value of frictional force, the frictional resistance, that is 0 0.75 times mg cos 50 g degree. At C part, he has asked what is the net acceleration. What is the acceleration? How we can find it? See, the net force is acting in this direction because this value is smaller. Why? Because this is in motion in downward direction. So this force has got to be less than this force. Then only it will be slipping in this direction. Okay. So I can write the net force acting in this direction. The net force acting in this direction is equal to mg sine 53 degree minus 0 0.75 times mg cos 53 degree. Okay. So what is F? F is equal to m into a. m into a. Force is, it, uh, force is equal to mass into acceleration. That is equal to mg sine 53 degree minus 0 0.75 times mg cos 53 degree. Okay, so m, m, m got cancelled. From here you can find a is equal to g, take it as 10, sine 53 degree, we will be having some value minus 0 0.75 times g cos 53 degree. So all of this g may be you take this as 10. So from here you can find the value. Okay, so this part is normal. Thank you.